The sizzle of the grill and the aroma of sweet batter fills the kitchen at West Coast Waffles. The strawberries are carefully cut and added. The whipped cream tops the waffle and then the syrup is drizzled all over to add the finishing touch. It looks delicious and might need to be shared amongst two people. But while you're eating this, you could also be doing your part to help others in your community. Over the last three years being downtown, it is a serious issue. Like we live in such a privileged, beautiful place. And at the same time, it's like, oh, just turn a blind eye, like check your Facebook status rather than sort of connect with the idea that there's some real disparity in, in our own backyard right now. So when Derek Juno and Andrew Hall came to him with an idea, he jumped on board. These guys have a bigger idea right now. Um, and that is essentially that we're all connected and that by being in a community of people, we're responsible for one another. It's so nice to, to give back to a community that's given us so much. Hall and Juno went to the University of Victoria together studying business and recently they quit their jobs to work on Mealshare. Andrew and his cousin Jeremy, um, they're actually the creators of this amazing program. Essentially we they came up with the idea that they want to open their own restaurant at first and have it split in two where one side would be a normal restaurant and the other side would be kind of a soup kitchen. But instead of opening their own restaurant, they started working with existing restaurants in town to bring this concept to life. It's really simple and that's what we love about it. So you go into a restaurant, one of our partners, sit down and look at the, the menu that they have and some of the items will have our logo next to it. And if you see a meal share item on a menu and you buy that item, you know that a meal is going to be provided for someone in need. Mealshare has launched in Victoria with four restaurants on board, including West Coast Waffles, Zambri's, Lido and Canoe Brew Pub. It is the West Coast. Everyone is uh, really more socially involved and focused. So I was really excited to finally get Mealshare into Victoria because we're in Vancouver, Edmonton and Calgary. Um, it just makes sense to bring it to the place that we're working out of. And this is where your money goes. Both Mealshare and our place believe everyone deserves to eat. So we formed a natural partnership as a result of that belief. Our place serves over 1,200 meals a day to people in need. And because they can stretch their dollar, it costs about a dollar ten to serve a full meal like this. We have people, especially this time of year, it's cold outside. Uh, they need to come in and find some nutrition. Um, it helps them to stay healthy. It helps them to um, less sort of public disturbances on the street with panhandling and so forth. With the success of the program in other cities, Juno and Hall are hoping it becomes a success here as well. Eight million people in Canada every day dine out. And we thought if we can get a small percentage of that, we can change the world. We really can. For a complete list of restaurants, visit mealshare.ca. In Victoria, I'm Shetta Singh.